Hi everyone, uh, this is Taylor McDonald here. I'm going to show you how to connect a Brill No Apex to a Windows computer via Bluetooth. So, what we're going to do is, um, like in my last video, I stressed the importance of um, or order, doing things in a specific order. The same goes for connecting this. Um, connecting the Apex to the Windows computer. So what you need to do is you need to make sure your JAWS is off. You cannot have JAWS running when you start your Apex. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, make sure JAWS is off. Then you're going to start your Apex, turn it on. Then you're going to make sure you're at the main menu, which you'll press Dots one, two, three, four, five, six in the space bar all together at the same time. Main menu. All right. <clears throat> now you're going to press the letter T, as in Tom, which is dots two, three, four, and five. Rail terminal port currently Bluetooth. If it's not currently Bluetooth, you're going to press the letter B, as in boy, which is dots one and two. Now you're gonna select you're gonna select it by pressing enter, which is the far right key by dot six or button six. Braille terminal. Once it says Braille terminal, you know that it's safe to turn on JAWS. Um, I'm sure you guys all know the keyboard commands. So you'll press Windows key and then type in JAWS and then press enter. Um, and you'll wait for that to start. JAWS Professional. All right, once that starts. Alt tap, Alt shift tap, no button, enter, Alt tap, Alt shift tap, Alt shift tap. All right. JAWS Professional, <clears throat> JAWS so, Professional. When, you're, when you open up JAWS, you're gonna go to the um, JAWS menu, which you'll press Alt. Menu bar, Options. Takes you to the. To navigate, press left or right arrow period. To the menu bar. You'll press O, which will open up the options. O. Menu. Then options you'll press menu. the letter L, to L, leaving menus, which Braille will open up dialogue. Braille. The active Braille display is being default Braille display colon combo box. Braille note left paren sign right paren. Three of three. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Period. All plus D. Now, uh, mine's already connected, but to get yours to connect, you'll want to. Go to the default option, uh, default Braille display, which you're already on. No display period. You'll use the up and down arrows on the keyboard to figure out which display you want. Braille note left, paren sign right, paren. So right now it says Braille note. Um, you're gonna do. You're gonna have it on that. And then you're gonna add. You're gonna press Add Braille Display. Add Braille Display. Dot 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 button. To activate, <clears throat> press Spacebar. Period. All plus B. Select Components dialog. All right. Select the Braille components you want to add or modify. Period. List one. List view. Focus not checked. Mm -hmm. One of twenty three. To move two items, use the arrow keys. Period. Okay. So now that you're here, it gives you a list of different um, Braille components that you can select. We want to select the Braille Note um, Apex or anything similar to that. Um, so I, what I like to do is I type a letter. So if I'm looking for Apex, I'm typing the letter A. A, A P H refresh up. A. Okay, so there is no um, other letter that starts with an A. So now I'm going to try another letter. So if it's not Apex, then maybe it's Braille. B. Bon pronto. Bra oh there it is that's what I want so then you'll um, press the space bar space space to check, check to make sure that it's checked you're gonna tab tab next greater button then you're press activate, press space bar period you're gonna press space bar to um, activate the next button. Space. Set options for the Braille note left paren sign right paren display period. 
This braille display connects through a serial comma, USB, or Bluetooth port period. Select the output port period. Edit combo. USB. Okay, so right now it says USB. You're going to press the arrow, down arrow key to, on the keyboard to get to the com that you need it to be at. For my computer, com three, com four. I need it to be at com4. Then you'll press enter. Enter. Select the braille display that you want to use each time you start JAWS period. If the braille display does not appear in the list comma, choose the back button and then select the one you want to use period. Primary device colon combo box. Braille note left paren sign right paren. Two of two. To change the selection use the arrow keys period. All plus P. Alright, so now it should say the primary device is braille note because that's what you checked or whichever braille display you have. And then you're going to either press enter or tab. Tab. Last back button. To activate. Tab. Finish button. And press the to letter. Activate, press space bar period. Press the finish button um, by pressing enter or space bar. And then it should should pair automatically um, from that point on. Now cancel button. <clears throat> I'm gonna to cancel that because it's already connected. Braille basic settings dialog. Okay. So now, now that you've got it connected, every other time that you want to connect your braille display to your Windows computer, all you have to do is turn on your, um, turn on your braille display, make sure that um, JAWS is currently off, so we'll start back over, we'll start that process over again so that you can see that it automatically connects. So I'm going to close out of this. Escape. Alt F4. Quit JAWS dialog. Cancel button. Enter. JAWS professional. Let's see. Alt F4. Enter. All right. So I just closed out of JAWS. Now I'm going to turn off my Braille display. Okay, we're going to start from the very beginning. Now remember, order is very important here. Going to make sure JAWS is off. You're going to turn on your Apex. Let's see. You're going to press um, all the keys, dots one, two, three, four, five, six, and spacebar together at the same time to get you to the braille, the main menu. Now you're going to press the letter T. Braille terminal port, then, then if it's not Bluetooth, you're going to press the letter B. A. Oops, sorry, not A. You're going to press the letter B. Bluetooth. And then you're going to press Enter, which is the far right key. Braille terminal. Once it says Braille terminal, you are free to turn on JAWS. So I'm going to go to start, type in the word JAWS, press enter. JAWS professional. Now, every time I do anything on the screen, JAWS I'll show you. Dialog. Do you want to install the updates question? Yes button. To activate, press spacebar period. All plus Y. It says everything on the Apex. And it's in uncontracted Braille, so I don't know why that's... I'll have to go and change that. But anyways, so that is how you, uh, you connect it via Bluetooth to your Windows computer. Um, yeah, it's not too difficult. It's... A lot easier now that I've done it um, but I hope that this video has proven to be helpful to um, any of you out there who are first-time um, Apex users so I hope um, this has helped you and I um, if you have any questions just let me know and I'll try my best to assist you in any way I can so have a great day bye